Hi everyone, welcome to Design School MC. In this video, I will create mountain logo design using vintage style. Okay, first I will select pencil over here, zoom in like this, and create object like this. You can follow me. Uh, maybe I will change the color using gray color, dark gray, like that. Click OK. Click here. Click here, here, here. You can follow me. Okay, like that. That's very easy. You can create the mountain with your style. This just example. Okay, like this. Close this point and uh, select ellipse tool over here and create object like this and duplicate this object. Go to edit, select copy, edit, pitch in front and move this object a little bit down. Click this object and go to part finder and click minus front to cut this object and put this object over here. Okay, over here. Maybe uh, click this point and scroll going up. Okay, like that. Okay, and I will change this color using orange color. Double click on the fill. Uh, first, change, change the fill color to stroke. Click here and double click on the fill and select orange color. Scroll over here and scroll a little bit down over here and click OK. All right, like that. Maybe the orange a little bit darker like this. Scroll a little bit down. Click OK. And change the stroke color, the size of stroke color. Click here and select maybe 20, um, maybe 10. Okay, I think that looks good. And I will change the gray, gray dark gray, a little bit darker, maybe over here. Um, I think the blue, dark blue, will be looks good. Scroll over here, click OK. And maybe I will copy this color code and I will change this mountain using dark gray, uh, dark blue, like this, like this line. Right click over here, click bits, click OK. Alright, I think that looks good. And I will change my background using gray color. Scroll over here, maybe here, and click OK. And select the pencil over here, zoom in, and create object like this. Click here. Okay, you can follow me or you can create your own object. This is very easy. Click here, 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 um, maybe here. Okay, like this. That's very easy. Click here. Here, here, and here. Maybe I will edit this point a little bit down. And this two, like that. I will create another object over here. Okay, like that. And over here too. Like this. Maybe over here too. I will try to make this mountain looks good.
Okay, and over here too. Okay, I think that looks good. And once again, over here, create object like this. Click here, click here, click here, click here, here, and close this point. Just once again, over here. Okay, I think that looks good. Um, maybe I will change the size, uh, click this point a little bit down, in this two, a little bit down, and this a little bit going up, and this a little bit down, uh, in this object two, let click this point, click this point, a little bit down, okay, I think that looks good, and this object two, a little bit down, Okay, and I will create a circle object using ellipse tool, like this. Maybe I will um, change the color using dark blue, right click, click bits, as copy the color code of this blue. And put over here, zoom out. I will change the circle object a little bit bigger. Okay, like this, and duplicate, uh, maybe I will select the pencil, click here, click here, scroll like that, close this point, uh, maybe like this, I will edit this line. Click this point and scroll a little bit going up. Okay, select the circle object and go to Perk Finder and click minus run to cut the circle object. Okay, I think that looks good. I will edit this point. Click this point and click this point a little bit down. Okay, like this. And this point too. Click this point a little bit going up. Okay, I think that looks good. And now I will um, duplicate this object, go to edit, select copy, edit, pitch in front, and I will change the size a little bit small, maybe like this, okay, like that. Um, I will change this object using white color, like this, maybe a uh, little bit gray. I will copy this color code, right click, and select copy. Select this object, double click on the fill, right click on this dialog box, and click bits, click OK. Alright, I think that looks good. Um, maybe I will create text. Uh, I will edit this point a little bit down, and I will create text. Select type tool over here. Um, maybe I will duplicate this circle first. Uh, maybe I will create new circle object like this and change the fill color to stroke like this and put the circle on the center like this. Maybe I will uh, change the size a little bit small. A little bit coming up. Okay and select type tool, click and hold on this tool and select right to left type on a path tool and click here maybe I will write um, mountain um, maybe a simple logo dot Vintage style, and I will change the size to bigger, maybe 24. 
a little bit bigger 48 okay I think that looks good and I will change the rotation click here and and change the rotation like this maybe a little bit going up and I will change the style to bold maybe the size a little bit small 45 okay that looks good and I will edit this rotation like this okay that looks good um, maybe I will create uh, I will duplicate this object go to edit like copy edit bits in front and I will change the size a little bit small like that and I will change the color using orange color like this orange double click on the fill right click click copy and select this object double click on the fill right click and click page click OK I think that looks good maybe I will using stroke color too I will copy this stroke color select this object double click on the fill right click on this dialog box click page click OK and change the size the, of the stroke color 10 okay that looks good I will change this text uh, the circle object of this text a little bit small okay like that and I will create circle object again change to stroke and put this over here Maybe I need to change the size a little bit bigger like that put on the center okay and change uh, select this tool um, maybe this tool and click here. Crossfit. Okay. Change the rotation like this, and I will change this text. Uh, the size of this text a little bit small, maybe twenty-four. Okay, like that. I will change the color using white color. Scroll over here. Click OK. Alright, I think that uh, maybe I need to write another text. Pets Mountain in the world. And I will edit this uh, space. Like that. And dot home front like that create space like this okay and change the rotation click here and change the, the rotation like that a little bit going up and I will create star object click star tool click here okay click OK and change the size of this star to small like that and put this star over here and change it a little bit small duplicate this star copy bit in front put over here change this rotation like this okay maybe the star a little bit down okay like that and the star a little bit on the right okay that looks good and I will create text over here too 
maybe I will change this text using blue color double click on the field I will copy this code and select this text double click on the field right click in this dialog box click page click OK now select ellipse tool over here and create object like this change to stroke put this object a little bit down over here click this point and scroll going up okay like that and select this tool and click here and create text Adobe Illustrator CC tutorial for beginners select this text and change the size maybe 36 okay like that um, I will change the 6 to, to 9 okay that looks good uh, maybe the 9 I will change the 9 to 7 7 8 okay I think the 8 looks good and I will change the color using white color click OK alright I think that looks good select this all object and select this background right click select group and put on the center zoom out okay like that I think this logo looks good okay guys I hope you learned something in this video and if you have a question you can leave a comment below in my youtube channel and if you happy with my video tutorial don't forget to click like share and subscribe my youtube channel to get new video tutorial every I update new video and go to my youtube channel in design school MC and you can watch more video tutorial and see you on the next video